Local authorities in the Gaza Strip have imposed a two-day curfew starting Friday to help combat the spread of the deadly coronavirus. The tiny enclave has been witnessing a sharp increase in infections in recent weeks, bringing the number of cases to over 27,000. In late August, a full lockdown was imposed on the Gaza Strip for a period of two weeks after authorities confirmed the first coronavirus cases spread through the community. We have imposed a full lockdown since early Friday. We will also impose a nighttime curfew throughout the week to break the chain of infections. We believe that these measures will bring down the number of infections. We are under heavy strain because of the pandemic, and we hope that these tough measures could slow down the spread of the virus. Currently, about 350 coronavirus patients in Gaza require hospitalization, including 150 patients in critical condition. With only 180 ICU beds, Gaza hospitals are having a very difficult time to save the lives of coronavirus patients. The extensive nature of the Israeli blockade has had a devastating impact on the enclave health system, rendering it inadequate to respond to the coronavirus pandemic. Gaza's health sector is suffering from a deteriorating condition because of the Israeli blockade. Lack of international funding and aid is also hampering efforts to fight the pandemic. The situation is heading towards a catastrophe amid the lack of medicines and testing kits. We are afraid that the coronavirus infections will continue to rise at a very fast pace. Amid the current lockdown, the movement of people and vehicles all over the Gaza Strip is prohibited. People here are bracing themselves for the worst as COVID-19 infections continue to increase at a fast pace. The impoverished coastal sliver is already under a crippling Israeli blockade amid the international community's silence and inaction. Ashraf Shanan, Press TV Gaza.